With this again, Raven? I'm not going to do Mystery Duo. No, I'm not. Come on, Mom. No. And oh, no, I hate that cartoon. I'm not going to. Besides, I hate this one, but I like it. I know you do, Raven. So why didn't you do it? Okay, I'll do it. Besides, I'll give you a, ch I'll give you a chance to relax. Thanks. Now, untie me, or you're grounded for a year of no reading. That's fine, Mom. I'll get you untied. Thank you. Hello, folks, and salutations. My mom hates this cartoon. I love it, but my sister, but my mom and my sister hate this. It's stupid, and it's pathetic. We begin with, of course, mm -mm. the episode begins with Scootaloo heading the, heading the Rainbow Dash train. In the Keymore Crusaders treehouse, she declares that Rainbow Dash should be declared the most awesome pony pony vote. Snips and Snails join the discussion with the opinion best way. Hey, what happened to Trixie? Don't you guys care about Trixie? Honestly. This guy's Rainbow Dash is a voice struggling. Rainbow Dash is super ultra extreme awesome amazingness. Which the club agrees is right. And the voice would be Rainbow Dash. Ugh, very creepy. It will be pointed out later in the next series. Hmm. Rainbow Dash is seen flying around having a dip in the cloud. Suddenly she hears a roar shouting from the well. Oh no, Timmy's in the well, you better go save her, Rainbow Dash. <laughs> Rainbow Dash shuts her a cloud dip and saves the dirty filly from the well and meets a large amount of praise from her pony. Much more surprised later, she's seen a runaway baby carried. In this first but she didn't accept all the applause. She just did it for good deed. But then when she saved the baby pony, quick save from baby from the plunge and drop the cliff, again she was sweeping the great round praise. And unfortunately this brought to her head by the prop to ride reason on the frame of came to her harrison. She gazed the same collabs and posts, including elder people, dancing in the crowd chain. She also gives a speech to Rainbow Dash fan club the sugar cup and she brags about her new status as a hero. And her main fight were talking about her not being modest at all. Spike in the corner. Right in Rainbow Dash autograph by Offery, which Twilight React tells Rainbow Dash that oh, it's written by who about. Rainbow Dash golfer says that she's too busy saving lives to write about her achievements. Really? What a arrogant fool! Mom! Stop it! It's my lines! Sorry. <sighs> Sorry about that. <clears throat> I kind of like re I kind of like this episode. Don't ask me. I'm weird. Like my mom. Hmm. However, her pride begins to get in the way of her hero deeds. Mysterious Mary and Purple stepped in and Dot Wing Duck! Hmm. Or Dot Wing Pony in my lifetime. She begins to steal Rainbow Dash's thunder by saving ponies from falling hot air balloon and stopping the bus full of ponies and falling up a cliff. Saving a construction worker from the falling debris. Fixing the dam, she then becomes new hero pony girl dev in the mystery Mare Duel. Mare Duel, I get the joke. Rainbow Dash attempts to outshine Mare Duel, but fails. And her hatred and jealousy grows like a tree of vines, as they would say. Like Maleficent's castle, believe me. Every time Rainbow Dash failed, Mare Duel stepped in and fixed the problem. Apparently, Mare Duel has both wings and a horde. Alicorn! Say, what? Could be Luna. Who knows? Seems now the things are going to happen. Super strong, super fast, incredibly agile as well. But sadly, Rainbow Dash realized she cannot compete with that. Even her friends are impressed by Meadow. And they don't know it, but the way they the way they say it how she is, you know, it's hurting her. I, mean, I think they know that, but I think they tried it. Rainbow Dash decides that she has convinced the pony to play, but she's still holding it awesome. However, when she finds out she has anyone to be saving, she ends up doing many tasks like opening jars, peanut butter, meow, and a lot of hopes that pony may praise her. Instead, telling people roll their eyes and snuggle up as lame, leaving her event unhappy. Rainbow Dash goes off board of Thundercloud, wondering why the folks doesn't like her anymore, and she's all alone. When they hear her name called Scootaloo, she apologizes for forgetting about her, but she tells her that she just invited her to thank the parade. Meriduel. At first, Rainbow Dash refused, but saying she wants to be alone. But then she has a plan on mass from Meriduel. 
At the parade, when Mary Noel appeared, Rainbow Dash came onto the stage and tried to get her taken off her mask, but Mary Noel ran away. But Rainbow Dash gave chase. Mary Noel keeps appearing in different places. Too fast for Rainbow Dash. A bit chased, and Rainbow Dash pinned her and pulled her mask. <gasps> oh no, it was Pinkie Pie! With astoundment, she began stammering, and two more mirror boys appeared, pulled up their masks, revealing themselves to be Twilight and, of course, Applejack. They explained that they wanted Rainbow Dash to stop boasting so much, they come to her high horse, or push her off her high horse. Apparently, Applejack stopped the runaway bus with her powerful leg. Pinky used her pinkies to avoid the fallen obstacle in the building, and Twilight used her magic to fix the dam. Plus, I did the flyby, and Rarity designed the costume, which turned adorably nice red, dark red. Well, sorry. Black and purple. Sorry about that. <sighs> Your mask understands she did act like a gracious human and not one of her sexist ar arrogance. So to avoid losing the opinion of town people as well, causing a rip of jealousy between herself and her friends, she also learned that it was okay to be proud of her accomplishments. You should never brag about them. The episode ends with her showing home playing white message to Princess Leslie, giving the audience a wink. Now, here are the superhero themes we get to see in this episode. The storyboard was led by the storyboard artist Sabrina Alabrenha, committed of how crew incorporated the one superhero cliche yet another fun tongue twist and check. Rainbow Dash catchphrase, never fear, your friend in the neighborhood is here. Rainbow Dash is here, which is from the Spider-Man, there's no name for it, underdog is here too. Mr. Mary the Ruff shares a sun purple black color scheme, right, believe me, from Dot We Duck. She been on work on all we dog comics before. However, she did not design the character. Mary do well with shared several elements of DC here. Superhero and the spoiler, Supreme character Batman. The spoiler was alter ego of Sabrina Brown, the daughter of Frame Weekend Assassin awesome Supervillain named Clue Master. Her costume was also a monoid bodysuit. With a purple mask, she became the spoiler, meaning punishment her father by spoiling his every crim plan. Pinkie Pie sent a labyrinth from Divine Port to Danger, a period of spider and sense. Which makes sense. The fantastic comedy of music, reality poetry of Mary Duell, strongly resembles the same from Batman the Animated Series, reruns which have aired on the hub. Same channel that aired Milo playing Fitzman's Magic before season 5. Also, the girls who play Mary Duell is not nod to the anime movie Batman Mystery of the Batwoman, which the Batwoman personality showed ultra ego shared by the three different women. Boom. That makes kind of a good sense. Now then, I hope you all enjoy it. What do I think? I think Rainbow Dash should learn a big lesson from her best friends that you shouldn't be aggravating. You shouldn't boast and brag. Even my mom knows not to do that. And as for as for Twilight, they were all pretty smart in their own ways. The design of the superhero costume, I give it some good. I give it two wings up. So, in any case, guys, I have to get going. And all I can say is, Mom, I love this episode, and you can't make me hate it. Have a lovely day, folks, and have a